IHCN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Micah Solashak. And I'm Gino Cardosi. So, Micah, how was your long weekend? Pretty good, Gino. I had a good weekend. How about you? What did you do? Oh, nothing much. Well, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. September is National Suicide Prevention Month. Remember, if you or anyone you know is in crisis, you can dial the National Suicide Hotline at 988. Please, don't be afraid to reach out. Sign up for Experience Ships by September 15th and take your first steps towards a bright future. The prep class will help you create your resume and practice interviewing, building confidence as you pursue real-world career experiences while in high school. The program has a little of everything, so you can choose from job shadows and short or long-term experience ships of all kinds. Sign up via the link of your, on your class Canvas page. Seniors, please sign up using the link in your Canvas for your roommates for senior trip. Signups must be completed no later than September 18th of this year. Yearbooks are still available. We have 25 left, so reach out to Ms. Pfeiffer either in room 222 or by email if you're interested. They are $79 each. Attention seniors, Special Persons Day is fast approaching. The date to RSVP is September 15th. If you want to be guaranteed breakfast at the event, you must RSVP by then. Patrick had the chance to interview some students about the new furniture. Patrick, it's all you. How do you feel about the new furniture in the high school? Love it, wonderful, it's so comfy, and the learning is just out of this world. Top tier. Top tier. You heard it here first. Hello Braves, I'm here with Mr. Abrams. Mr. Abrams, how do you feel about the new furniture around the school? Uh, I think the new furniture is great. It uh, feels more collegiate than it does high school, and uh, it gives us more options for flexibility of seating in and outside the classroom. All right, thank you. Hello Bravesby, I'm here with... Mia. Madden, how do you all feel about the new school furniture? I like these chairs. They're really fun. Those aren't new. Oh. <laughs> well, Madden, how do you feel? I really like them. I think that Indian Hill's done a great job to accommodate our um, our needs and, and our feedback, so I really appreciate that. So professional. All right. Oh, Coach, how do you feel about the new furniture around the school? I love it, man. I think all the students. Do you guys love it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we all love it. We 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 take laps around and we go into the neighborhood, sit down and chill. So it's all good. With senior Chase Lanham, and um, we're gonna ask him about the furniture. Um, do you like the new furniture? I mean, I had this last year in English. Um, the high stills make my feet go numb, but. I mean, <laughs> Other than that, it's, it's a okay with me, man. Great to hear, Chase. We even like the furniture so much that we got a photo shoot on it. Thanks, guys, and thank you to the school for purchasing the new furniture. Our homecoming festivities are fast approaching. Voting for the movie is still open, and it will be held in the cafeteria, not on the football field this year. Panel painting will be held on September 27th. Be sure to register your club if you want to march in the parade. There will also be a door decorating contest between two advisory rooms two weeks before the game. Tickets for the dance are on sale now. They are $25 until September 15th and then they will sell for $30. So get ahead of it and buy them soon. We had an exciting week in sports. Yep, and Broken John have our results. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Gino and Micah. Well, we have a lot of sports news to cover, so let's get on with it. The football team had a home game last Friday against Harrison High School. They came up short 17 to 35, but they plan to strike back against Marymount High School tonight at home. Make sure to come out and support. The Lady Braves field hockey team played Fairmont High School last Thursday and took the victory and shutout with a score of three to zero. They also played Walnut Hills and St. Ursula this past week, and we'll have those scores next week. Good luck, Lady Braves. The girls' tennis team played Turpin High School last Wednesday and beat them 5-0, continuing their undefeated streak. Way to go, girls. They also played Marymount this past Wednesday, and we will have those results for you next Friday. The 
boys soccer team took a hike out to Carroll High School where they won 5-4. The Braves also played Deer Park this week and won with a whopping score of 7-0. Make sure to congratulate Gavin Johnson for his hat trick and his commitment to play soccer at Sar College. Last Wednesday, our girls soccer team had a tough game against Marymount and tied 2-2. Two to two. They also played Tippecanoe last Saturday in Deer Park on Wednesday. We will have that result for you in the next episode. The boys golf team played at the Miami Whitewater Golf Course where they defeated the Taylor Yellow Jackets 169 to 180. The boys also played at Beaver Creek at the Beaver Creek Invitational this past Tuesday. We will have those scores next week. The girls volleyball team played at Deer Park High School last Thursday taking home a 3-0 win. They then took on Madeira on Tuesday and once again crushed them 3-0. They also played Reading on Thursday and we will have that score for you next week. Well, that's all the news we have for this week's Sports Report. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks, guys, and congratulations and good luck to all of our sports teams. If you're interested in playing on the eSports team, signups are now available. You can find the signups on your Canvas page. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy, stay classy and inhale. inhale. How many months of the year have 28 days? I know this one. All of them. I would have just said February. Yeah, that's what I would say. Who was the first person to go to space? Neil Armstrong. That's incorrect. Wait, who that's is wrong. it? That's wrong. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, it's some dude, but I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Patrick here, and I'm with General Arnold. Uh, what is 14 times 5? <laughs> 70. Oh. Okay, who am I here with? Patrick Lee. Uh, between 1 and 100, how many multiples of 7 are odd numbers? <laughs> 49. <laughs> 7. Okay. Yes, good job. Gabe, what is the capital of Japan? Hong Kong. No, it's not right. I don't know. Yeah, it's Tokyo, right? Tokyo. Yeah, it's Tokyo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you. What's up, Big Dow? What's the capital of Florida? The capital of Florida is Tallahassee. Huh? Yeah, that's my final answer. That is correct, sir. Hey, I know what I'm talking about, boy. My name is Coach King. Y'all better recognize.